Hello. Hey. And welcome to New to the Scene with Nick, Lance, Amber, um, as we do our episode by episode breakdown of The Last of Us as they're coming out. Um, so unfortunately, uh, the day that the uh, this episode released, Annie Wershing passed away yes. uh, from cancer. So offer our condolences and our sympathies and whatnot. Yes. And unfortunately, I, I don't know that I'm familiar with her because as we've discussed before, I've not played the game. Yes. But. And and you didn't watch Picard. No, I have Which not, is the I've other thing that Picard. she was kind of uh, starting to get known for. She had had a role in Picard. Mm. So, unfortunate, but we'll, we'll soldier on. Yes. Um, so, I guess, do we want to do, like, first impressions of what we thought of this episode? Mm-hmm. Um, and then f- f- after that, we'll go into spoilers. Kind of give like, your, your, I guess, a sentence or two about, like... Man, this episode really hit me in the feels, or something like that, and then and then and then we'll move <laughs> That's on. That's an understatement for somebody. If you didn't like this episode, you could fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Lance, would you like to you start? Some, would you like to start? Sure. Um, I guess before before spoilery bits. Yeah, just initial impression without yeah, spoilers. It, uh, it was a beautiful episode. Mm. Um, the storytelling, the way that they set the episode up, um, it was just a masterstroke. It was, it's by, by it's far and away my favorite episode of the season so far. Um, and that's, Which with the small number of episodes is... Three episodes in, um, but I kind of knew, I kind of had my perceptions of what to expect from Bill um, mm-hmm. and the way they did this episode. It was just, it was a beautiful episode. It, and I'll concur. I, I, I agree. It was a beautiful episode. The acting from Nick Offerman and Murray Bartlett in particular was just phenomenal. I mean, without spoilers, there's just so much that they conveyed mm-hmm. in a relatively short period of time. This felt more like a cinematic movie about their life Which it, than it did to be about the show. I was going to say it kind of was because the episode was like an hour and 20 minutes. Yes. That could be a movie. Yeah, it, it, it would have been a beautiful movie too, no. by itself. Mm-hmm. It, it could stand alone by itself and just be a beautiful story. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what I appreciated about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I will uh, echo sentiments because at least this little bit is something I don't know about. So there's not the uh, going in with preconceived I, I know kind of what to expect for the most part. So, it's good. Um, so far, the show's been... I think it's okay. And I think other people at the table have a higher opinion to the show than <laughs> I do. But I think I will get into why I think I've got lower out of it than maybe some other people. Mm-hmm. Um, after, you know... So, spoilers. We're going to start discussing yes, the episode spoilers. at this point in time. So, go watch it. I don't know why you'd click on a, well, what do people think of episode three? It's good. Like, go watch it. Yes. And then, like, get off YouTube. Get, a, yes, get off Twitter. Spoiler. Because people everywhere are going to be like, oh, my God, and posting pictures. So Yeah, the, yes. um, the spoilers are going to be like Bill's traps. You're not going to be able to get around them after a certain amount of time. Just go watch the episode now. I don't follow any Last of Us stuff. And just scrolling through Twitter for the first week, people are like, pip, 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 pip. like I, don't, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The algor- well, let's be fair. The algorithm over on Twitter is completely bored. Yeah, it's, at least nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know why there's the race to like be the first one to put out spoilers. Um, Clickbait. And, and and the worst Revenue. thing, the worst thing is, is that when you go on YouTube and it's like episode three of The Last of Us. And there's a gigantic fucking spoiler in the thumbnail. Yeah, I've had that happen before. I've with, had that happen with multiple, multiple things. times. It's Luckily, horrible. The, the thumbnail is just our three mugs. Yes, because we are just so great at video editing that we've <laughs> never given you any of it. Our, our edits are so clean, you don't even see them. I know. It's a one, one and done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ch- name our channel, rename our channel to One and Done. We should, um, <laughs> we should na- rename our channel um, Lowest Possible Effort. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I left the house. D- oh, That's a oh, lot of effort. Yeah, this is, a is lot. very yeah. true. Especially since it's the second time I left the house today. Every single, oh, wow. Every oh, single wow. time Nick comes over to the house, I'm just like, thank you, God, for getting out of the house and getting him over here. <laughs> I'm but, just, one day it's going to happen where I'm just going to be like, all right, Nick, what are we recording today? And you're just going to be like, Meh, nothing. This I'm going to stay home. This bed's pretty comfortable. 
<laughs> and in, on that, we're going to go right yeah. into spoilers. That was plenty, that was plenty of time <laughs> yeah. for people to, people who lost the remote or threw it across the room to go get it and to come back and, and pause it or turn it off or whatever. Yep. So, um, who would like to start with their thoughts on, on this episode? Uh, I'll start. Sure. Um, go for it. So, um, in the game, when you meet Bill, he is a paranoid prepper. Um, and you wander into a mire of traps, and um, basically it's Joel reconnecting with him after a time, and uh, kind of like getting himself together. And you find out that Bill is a very paranoid, like, just, he's a weirdo, um, super prepper. Um, Which I think the show conveyed that very well. Right. Um, Which make, make, reminds me of a joke about the Nazis. Yes. Not like one of the government's Nazis. Well, they are now. Yeah, but, they but not use, then. They didn't use not then. Yeah. yeah, that was a great. That was a great line. Yeah. Um, the the thing that I really appreciated this is I, I I was expecting to see a very small thing with Frank and Bill, and then it was going to go to Joel rolling up on him. I thought they were going to do more of what happened in the video game. Mm. Um, but you never get to meet Frank in the game, and I loved that they gave that to us. Like, I was worried at the beginning of the episode when they didn't have that little thing in the beginning where it's, like, it's stuff that we didn't see, you mm -hmm. know? And then, like, when it was just straight up with Joel, I was like, okay, I guess we're done with the little things that give us extra information. Mm -hmm. But, like, oh, my God. This episode was beautiful from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. um, and if you oh. hadn't noticed, um, in particular, too, like, how the first flashback was was after the cold open with Joel and Ellie traveling, mm -hmm. and then they find the the, the body pit. Um, had they found Frank and forced him onto that truck, mm -hmm. f not Frank, Bill, yeah, he been Bill dead. would have been dead yeah, because they dead. made it very clear that, that the piece of, pieces of cloth that you could see in the field belonged to people who were on that truck. Yeah, that, that neighborhood died right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even really all that far either. No. It's like they drove him out a little bit and kind of like, oh, it's full guy, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it's. I really liked how the game did it because the game is like a series of gut punches. Yeah, like it, it's it, the second you get like a moment of levity, the game immediately punishes you with like being hopeful, um, and then sticks you in like another mire. This episode, like the entire time, I was rooting for them, and every single time it would go from a day to night cycle or a switch to a scene, I was constantly worried something was going to fuck with them. Because I wanted them to be happy. And then you get four years, four years, three years, ten years. I was like, oh my god, they lived a great life. Like, yeah, you know, they were together 16 years? Because the first, well, oh, the, first, okay. the, first, yeah. the first jump was four years, right? And I, then, yeah. and then yeah. Frank showed up. Yeah, so yeah, 16 years. So they years. had 16 years together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grew old and, died, and like to die of essentially like, hey, we're done in a post-apocalypse. So that's pretty, it's pretty fucking impressive. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that they were like so so compatible like as, despite as being so radically different, different. yeah mm -hmm. but it's like I, I appreciated them giving us the watchers the gift of you got to see this beautiful relationship because in the game you find out that frank couldn't stand bill and basically killed himself oh. and left bill a note basically saying i i can't stand you i hate you i would rather be it, it, it i'm paraphrasing because it's been a very long time since I played the game, but mm -hmm. he left him a note that basically said, I don't want to spend another day with you. Mm. And, and he hung himself. And then Joel finds the letter, and then you have to make a decision in the game whether to give Bill the letter or to hide it. Mm. Um, and then you just kind of roll on after that. Mm. Um, yeah, the, the game mm. is, it doesn't give them quite such a poignant mm -mm. story. Mm. Um, and, and you could see where there was some ups and downs with their relationship, obviously. That, that line, like you brought up, the, you know, yeah, the government's all Nazis, you know, that they had s s such great banter, mm -hmm. really did. And um, it, it, to me, just seeing the way that they adapted their story from what little bit you saw in the game to, to like this full-blown movie, effectively, of their life mm -hmm. was... I thought it was a brilliant change. I don't know. There's probably some people who are going to be like, me, I don't, I didn't like it. But I thought it was just so powerful and beautiful. And I loved it. I, I think it's superior to what you get in the game storytelling wise, even though, and you know, most people tell you the last of us is so good at the storytelling aspect. And then, so it's not to say that it wasn't good, what you got in game, 
but the story is so hyper focused on Joel and Ellie. Mm-hmm. Whereas now you're getting a chance to just just tell larger stories for the other characters, and you know it was it was it was just so beautiful. I mm-hmm. was kind of at a loss for words for how to properly describe it. Of speaking of ups and downs, it reminds me of if you took the beginning of Up, and and told that story over like an hour. And then just had, you know, Ed Asner's grouchy old man be like, man, me too, at the end. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, the, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's, that's an excellent point. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, that was far and away what I expected, but it was almost, in my opinion, a gift. Because um, that was a beautiful story. Uh, if their lifestyle is the reason why you don't like this episode, we don't want you on our channel. And we mm. want you to go away because you're the problem. Mm. Um, the story, it's just... It, it, if I know there's a lot of people who don't like Neil Druckmann because of what he did with the second game. Um, but this show, so far, has been very, very good. And I can't wait to see what they do in the future with it. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to, I don't want to cartel. I'm, I'm tearing up just thinking about it now. Um, I knew you were crying like a good portion of the episode to be fair. I could, that was beautiful. Like that, I could see the hands going. uh, It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful last night. And I teared up, but I didn't cry near as much as you did. Well, it's, yeah, it's, but I mean, I was, I was so happy for them and it was a beautiful last day and, and what Bill decided to do because, you know. He he saved Frank's life, but Frank saved his life. Yeah. You know, um, and you could see that they were super happy together. I think one of my favorite episodes, one of the parts of my favorite, uh, favorite part of the episode is when Joel and Tess came in for the first time. Mm-hmm. And Bill's just sitting there with the gun on the table. <laughs> that was great. And like every single time someone would move, he would basically pick that gun up and then he'd kind of like set it back down. Mm-hmm. And then the, when, um. Joel, the first time, was like, yeah, we're a lot alike, you know, Uh, we do this, we do that, and get that fucking gun out of my face. (laughs) And you could see Bill was just like, I don't like you, but okay. (laughs) It stuck it. But, like, the first thing that I I thought in my mind is Bill was like, I'll take the thing off the table and I'll put it in the holster, but only for the fact that the gun is still pointed at your belly. The way he was sitting, the holster, like the gun's still pointing at him. Yeah. So all he had to do was reach down. And pull I feel, the I feel like Joel's gun was likely pointed in a similar direction, and the way he was only eating with one hand, and the other hand was just tucked under into his lap, even if he was just holding it like this, it was. I can easily grab my gun too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like Joel, where he might not be the uh, paranoid schizophrenic doomsday prepper that uh, Bill was. He's has enough reason to mistrust everybody. Are you paranoid if it was real? I know, right? Because he was like, ah, the world's going to end soon. And then it did. So he wasn't a paranoid prepper. He was just prepared. Yeah. Well, you know, he was like, you, you saw, they threw out the 9-11 was an inside uh, job. Yeah. <laughs> so there was the paranoia. Yeah. No, I like Joel asked him and said, are you, are you a prepper or something? And he says, I'm a survivalist or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But like what I think, was the other part that really made me giggle in this episode was when they were going through and rounding up the people in the city in the beginning and Bill's just down there watching it from his cameras and as soon as they, they leave he comes up checks the perimeter and then it was just like happy music and he's just sunshine lollipops and well he even said like he's was glad people were gone mm-hmm. and now it's time to go and gather all of his shit so he can wall himself up and I mean, Survive. that was the other thing I liked that they changed in the game. The town's very dilapidated. It's 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 run down. It's got infected and everything kind of all over it, you know. So he kind of just, he picked like a couple of little buildings and just kind of cordoned them off. And this, he had like two, three city blocks that he just kind of walled off his street and everything. It was And it was just like, he, they maintained it. And I know that some of that was Frank. Frank was like, we're maintaining things. We're yeah. going to make this a presentable location, not just... Um, but, you know, it was, it was really... You know, I like that because it's like... It was like this pocket of... Like... It's almost like a um, time bubble. Mm. Time, time capsule. Yeah, yeah. It's perfectly encapsulated... And, and it wasn't until Joel and Ellie arrived that things, you could tell, had started to progress. And I'm just so glad they did not show us 
the bedroom. I did not want to see the bedroom. And I was really worried as the camera at the end was starting to pan back. I was like, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. It, it, I was doing the same thing. Like, the, 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 it's panning back. You're going into the window. And you can see the truck driving off. And, like, as the camera's going further and further back, I was like, get the truck out of view. The camera will stop panning if the truck gets out of view. And then it gets out of view and the camera stopped. And I was like, thank God. Just give us a romantic ending it, to those two. It don't was. show us the gross. Don't yeah. make a fucking cordyceps hand come up. I don't want to see any of that. No, no. They they, they stay clean. They There was no infected in their town. The only infected that had been in their town in any time. Technically, you could make the claim Ellie is infected. She's just immune to the mutation from it. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not breeding free will. But when they do the thing, she's reads yeah. infected. So she was the first one with an, an, an infection who was allowed in the city. Yep. Good on you, Bill. 20 years. Nothing yet past the perimeter. Good traps. Yeah, he bullets got past the perimeter. Yeah, and that was the one part I didn't like. For somebody who's, like, such a prepper and everything like that, like, standing in the middle of the street with a hunting rifle against, like, a bunch of dudes that are getting filleted mm -hmm. outside the gate, like, it's still, you know, you find cover and you shoot from cover, and he's just standing in the middle of the street just picking people off. Well, and, it's maybe when he's standing in the middle of the street, they're shooting towards him and not towards the house where, where uh, Frank is. Yeah. Reasonable, but, like, just go across the street. Like, even though Frank was, like, when he woke up to the flames, he still ran downstairs, and you could still hear bullets hitting the house. Mm -hmm. So, like, I thought that was interesting, but it's like... I, I liked how the message got across to those raiders. Yeah, just don't mess with that area. <laughs> I'm assuming there was many, many more. Yeah, I'm sure this over, wasn't over the first time, time but um, but but it's like that that fence. That, you know, obviously they had built up cars eventually along one of the fences so that people couldn't go into it. But at the same time, it's just like, come on, clearly they've uh, made it. So it's like they've got a reputation. Don't go to that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not worth it. Oh, that was a hunting party, and I'm sure when the hunting party didn't come back, they sent out someone to look for the hunting party and i'm imagining that the bodies outside of the gate was a clear indication this is yeah. don't fuck with us bill yeah. Char charred corpses <laughs> yeah but this is fort kick ass you you don't come in fort kick ass <laughs> um but yeah it was it was perfectly shot uh nick offerman if he doesn't get some kind of an award nod for this episode or the gentleman from the show that you were murray bartlett yeah murray That's bartlett like, who, who gives a shit about awards I don't, but in their lives of actors, mm -hmm. you know, people who get paid obscene amounts of money to act like other people, I want to be you so bad. <laughs> but it matters to them because when they get them, then I guess they become more desirable to be in such and such. Um, I, I, for the most part, I think Nick Offerman doesn't struggle to find work that he wants to do. No. He, he 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 gets to kind of, after his run on Parks and Rec, he gets to choose, kind of, like, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and, I mean... I want to make a chair. Yeah. And he yeah. does. I'll, I'll do a video of me making a canoe. Yeah. I think the only thing that he's talked about, though, that he wishes he got was, I think he wanted to be Samwise Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and but he'll sit there going, they made the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he's a very big Tolkien fan, and he's talked about how much he, he auditioned for and how much he really wanted that particular role because that's his favorite character. Mm -hmm. Mr. Frodo, sir. And he got to make... Samwise is the best character. Mm. And it's the best trilogy. It is the best trilogy. <laughs> Why do y'all have to try to <laughs> get me to emotional... Bear. Yeah, stop, stop making me trying to freak out. There's no, there's no trilogy of the rings. It's the Star Wars trilogy. That's it. That's all. Which Star Wars trilogy? You know which Star Wars trilogy there's obviously it was the prequels. Yeah. No, it's it's the sequel it's the sequel trilogy. It's the best I think, one. I think we're done here. <laughs> there's a little bit I wanna add. Um so I think I was like thinking about it like earlier, like why I'm not enjoying the show maybe as much as other people is because I think I've had it spoiled at just the right amount for it to be bad. Or, or, or for because otherwise, if you play the game, I mean, you you know what's going to happen. But now you can compare scenes to what they look like in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got none of that. I can't go like, ah, this is just like it is in the game. Instead, I just know, I know how things are going to end, which is why I think when I'm watching like this episode, I don't know these characters, so that's more interesting. 
So, so overall, you found that so far this is your favorite episode of the three. Sure, but that's not hard. Yeah. The other two were like fine. This one's a little bit, a little better than fine. Well, it's it's I I really like this episode because they didn't feel like they had to stick it with like a bunch of fucking adventure and mm-hmm. you know zombie attacks and everything. It, it it went paint by numbers, and that's why I think Bill respected Joel because Joel spoke straight up from the heart, and they were both survivalist. Mm-hmm. It's like you know you have these fences; they won't hold for long. Kudos for building them, but like we need each other. And Bill was real quick to be like, "We don't need you. Don't come here. We don't want you here because you know more people, more problems." Yeah. Um, but they ended up having a good relationship, good trade. Yeah, um, and it was more of they. I think they saw each other in the in like each other because more of the like I was here to protect Frank, you're here to protect Tess. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. the world needs, or they need people like us to take. And, care and of them. that's something I have like that they have fleshed out more in the in the game. They don't really tell you much of how how deep Joel and Tess's relationship may or may not have been, and in mm-hmm. and, and, and this we're seeing that. They were more than obviously just smuggling partners. Yeah. I mean, they established that in the first episode, but I mean, just the way that Bill saw them Mm -hmm. says that that, there was a deeper relationship. Yeah. Uh, Probably more on Tessa's side than on on Joel's side. But I mean, you could make the same argument that Bill and Frank might have had more on Frank's side to start with, but I think Bill was... Since he was obviously closeted for his entire adult life until he met Frank, yeah, that he pretty much probably was very love starved. He probably did have affection, but he probably didn't know how to show it. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, I think Tess needed Joel more than Joel needed Tess, but Bill needed Frank more than Frank needed Bill. Probably. Hence why, you know, at the end, he's like, you put him in the bottle and he has enough to kill a horse. Because otherwise, he would have. He would have kept surviving. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he decided, I'm, gonna, yeah, it's, no. I'm done. Yeah, you're tapping out on tap. I, I love that, too. And I, I had the fleeting thought in my head going, what if what if he's going to, has has spiked spiked his own drink, too, to make sure that he goes, too. Mm-hmm. And then he made, like, the, the show of sitting down and putting it just in, just in Frank's wine or whatever. But he's like, you you did yourself. Or the whole, you did the whole bottle. And he's like, yeah. Well, I mean, it's also the fact that he wasn't probably going to tell Frank, but Frank guessed it. Yeah. So, you know, but I like how Frank was like, I don't sanction this, but, you know, it's very romantic. Yeah, you know? I know. Yeah, I, um, I like that. I like that he's like, I should scold you because this was a very bad decision on your part. But. But he, uh, but he respected uh, yeah. it and understood it. For, yeah, from an outside perspective, it's kind of romantic. As, as, especially, especially after he basically had agreed to, to give... Frank, the most beautiful send off of his final day Mm -hmm. in a way that it's always beautiful when you hear about that. But it's like, it's also this most beautiful day is going to be the most soul crushing day of that person who's not going's life. Yeah. That's going to be the day that breaks them. And, and so he agreed to do it. And I think it was in that moment when he agreed, it's like, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with you then because yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to live with this memory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, well, it's, you know, he, he found his person and like, that's pretty remarkable, you know, and, and when you find your true love in a world where people are just dying off left and right, he found his one. And like, it says a lot for the character where he was prepared to live out the rest of his life alone. You know, he, you had, know? he had the supplies for it too, for, yeah. to keep going. And he, he found Frank and like, it's just kind of like, you know, I can still survive without you, but. I don't want to, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and I thought that was just, it was really, really nice. Um, it's going to be hard for me to find an episode that tops this one. Cause I, I was just, I was so shocked how wonderful it was. Cause I going into it, I was speaking to Mike at work and he was like, we get to meet Bill and Frank this week. And I was like, cool. You know, and I was ready for like Nick Offerman to be like over the top, super survivalist guy. Like, but like that's just and he was for like four years yeah. <laughs> but like i think in the video game you run into him in that little stretch of city and i think one of his strongholds was like a malt shop um or something like that um but and then you eventually you get to the house um but yeah it's um i don't know who the writers are on the show um but i've i i will say again that this is what happens when you put people in charge of a passion project and they're making what they want to make 
for themselves and for the fans. Because if you make it for the fans, people will love it. And you'll get everyone else to come along too. So stop putting people in, in charge of roles that they don't care about. Because you're going to get a project that's mediocre at best. You know, put people passionate about things. And it's just, you can tell there's a lot of passion uh, for this project with the writers that are on it. Uh, I was going to go back and play the video game just so I can, like, try and stay current, like, alongside the episode. But, like, the, the changes they've made in the game, I don't think it's needed, hmm. you know. Um, but I'm going to play it anyways just because this this game's, this show's got me jonesing to play the game. Um, but, yeah, and I kind of was worried because at the beginning of the episode, I was like, oh, we get to meet Frank. Yeah, you should have said that. And Nick was like, oh, that gives me information. And I was like, no, I, I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't say that. Yeah, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Because that, that tells me one very important thing that happens in the game. Yep. That, that you, you meet Bill later, but not Frank. So that kind of like, okay. Well, I kind of assumed that maybe you kind of, in Zombie Apocalypse, your show assumed the worst yeah. for people. Well, thank God the show bailed me out. That's, eh, kind of. Well, we lost both of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in, in a way, the show the show kind of bailed me out because I was like, oh god, I've ruined it for Nick. Yeah, because I was I was kind of expecting Bill to actually you know make it through. Because why would you off why would you off Offerman? Yeah. Um, I'm assuming they're going to show him in flashbacks because there is a ten year relationship to build between Frank, Bill, and Tess and Joel. Joel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they meet at like year ten. Yeah, yeah, there was a, and then um, there's there's there could be Tommy could have met them too possibly. Well, I mean, Frank said that we're going to make friends. We're going to make a lot of friends. Yeah. So God knows who rolled through there, mm -hmm. and what a nightmare that must have been for Bill, because you know he you you make your encampment, you stock it, and you try and keep people out that are going to eat up your resources and like you know possibly steal from you or kill you. Um, the, the, when he, when he was basically saying, you know, we're going to make friends, we're going to make so many friends. And like, you could see panic on Bill's face. Oh, like yeah. I yeah. brought you in here to keep you safe. And now you're, you know, I, what was it they said on King of the Hill? Uh, I'm trying to stop the outbreak and you're driving the monkey to the airport. <laughs> like you could tell Frank was going to be a problem for Bill. Yeah. But, not, not, uh, never liked King of the Hill. It, it, I like Mike Judge. I kind of don't. I don't either. There's stuff he's done that I like, but not, oh, but generally no. No. You also like Lord of the Rings one Star Wars, so could, no account for taste. Uh, it's the best. I think trilogy. that's a, I think that's a good ending point, don't you, Nick? <laughs> Mike Judge made one of the most important movies of our time. Office Space. Idiocracy. It came true. He's he 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 predicted. The this future. is not about Mike Judge. This is about The Last of Us. And is there anything more about The Last of Us that we need to say? No. It was it was a perfect episode. It, it's fine. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. Well, go watch the episode. Uh, leave down in the comments what you thought about it, um, what you thought about the changes, if there's anything we missed that you spotted. Um, you know, let, leave, us, leave, us, leave us something down in the chat. Share, subscribe, all that crap. Um, and thanks for joining us. Have oh. a good night. Bye, everybody.